Well, new details in a story that began on Friday that had sheriff's deputies surrounding a home for several hours. Fox 29 News Braylon Jenkins is live in the Fox studio with the latest. Braylon? That's right, Heather. While most of Friday was peaceful for law enforcement officers, at noon, Calcasieu Pier Sheriff's Office deputies were dispatched to a North Sulphur residence. Past High Hope Road and you've entered an area north of Sulphur, usually a quiet area. That was not the case Friday around noon after Calcasieu Pier's Sheriff's Office deputies were notified of a shooting at a residence on Bankins Road. Deputies learned that a son had shot his father. The victim was then airlifted to an area hospital. The situation wasn't over. The son, identified as 42-year-old Chad Peshoff, would not leave the residence. The Calcasieu Parish Sheriff's Anti-Crime and Tactics Team was then dispatched to the scene, where they then surrounded a portion of the neighborhood, establishing a perimeter around the home. It wasn't until the 4 o'clock hour that evening that the suspect was apprehended. The son, eventually, about five and a half, six hours later, was, was uh, tear gassed out of the house, and we apprehended him. Sheriff Mancuso went on to explain that regular procedure was followed before tear gas was used. After using all other tactics, the decision was then made to use tear gas in an effort to get Peshoff to exit the home. Peshoff has been charged with attempted second-degree murder with a bond of $750,000. Braylon Jenkins for Fox 29 News.